Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. So we are gonna spend a little bit of time talking about the Brave browser deeper look. I originally had, you know, Brave versus Firefox focus app in a smartphone privacy, and then my day just kind of became looking into the Brave browser specifically. And at that point in time, I'm just like, you know what? Let's have another closer look at Brave Browser again and, and see what I think about it. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time today doing a little bit of research on this. And, uh, you know, it's uh, there's, there's some telling stuff in here that we're going to have a look at. So uh, before we, though, we dive into that, um, I happen to have here five mouse pads and I'm gonna give away these five mouse pads and uh, the celebration of 10,000 subscribers which will come probably sooner than I'm ready but um, these five mouse pads are going out um, unfortunately just because of costs and things I can only ship them out to United States um, but what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, collect submissions and then probably the first or second live stream after we cross uh, 10,000 subscribers, which my guess is going to be next Wednesday because I'm not going to, I will probably, I don't know, I might do a live stream on Saturday. It's just not going to be a tinfoil hat time. Um, I might delete Facebook Live, but if you want to get into the, uh, into the um, drawing for this, all you need to do is go to the YouTube page and um, send me a private message on the YouTube page. Just say uh, in the quick private message, entry on laptop or on um, uh, mouse pad. Um, so that's what you're gonna do. And then I'm gonna collect all of those in just using the YouTube usernames. And then we will select those. Um, and I will do a live drawing, whether I pull names out of a hat or do some geeky terminal code to randomize the uh, where those are coming from. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, the only thing, of course, make sure that w when you submit, um, I'm gonna need to have a United States postal address to mail it to. I do not need those until you are in the drawing because I don't wanna collect all of that type of stuff. Uh, but if you are in the final drawing, I will need that address to mail these out to. Uh, so those will probably be going out in one week. So you have one week to uh, just shoot me a PM, just say you're submitting, and if that gets too insane, then maybe I'll put something up on the website to do that. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing with the mouse pads. So let me know. Um, just uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, can I ship to California? Yes. Um, unless California decides to leave the Union and becomes international shipping, yes, I can ship to California. Um, it's just if it if it's gonna go and, and probably might, let's see, do I want to do? It might have to be the lower 48. I might just have to see what it's gonna cost to ship it to like Alaska or Hawaii or something if I happen to have somebody there. But um, at the same token, it's just to ship it nationally like some anywhere in the United States would only cost me a couple dollars per mouse pad to ship them internationally gets up to like 20 25 dollars per mouse pad I just can't do that right now but uh, yes um, how do you PM uh, you go to the got to figure out how to do it again uh, on the side so what you want to do is you go to the person's YouTube page and I'm just gonna go to someone else's YouTube page um, we'll go to Total OS Today's main YouTube page and we'll stop the video that's going to autoplay. Okay, he doesn't. And then what you do is, I believe you go to About. I got to remember now. Yep, go to About and then you're going to find this thing that says Stats down there. And there's a little thing that says Send Message. And then you can go ahead and enter a message into that. Um, and what I might do is maybe get an active list on the website somewhere so you can see and verify that you're in there. Uh, so go to the about page and there is a send message button on that page. So if you want like to be in the drawing, of course, just make sure you have a United States address I can get after the drawing. I will need those only, only from only after the drawings done. Um, but anyway, that's five mouse pads and we'll see how that goes. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the Brave browser. It's a brave one. It's a brave one. And so we're going to go ahead and have a quick look, and I'm going to give you what my thoughts and assessment happens to be um, uh, near the end here. Um, and that's kind of that's, uh, that's the case. I'm just going to have a look at some comments first. All right, so 
Uh, let's see, who's first? Linux user, Firefox Focus, removes cookies and history on exit. Isaiah Briggs, greetings there. And GBD win today, sadly, on Windows 10. Ew, 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 block, block, block. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. On a smartphone, it's like Chrome OS uses sandbox security and only uses the Brave browser. Well, Isaiah, you might change your mind by the end of this. <laughs> I'm going to be a little facetious here. Um... I need to look for at Google as how security engineer was treated when he tried to add garbage to Linux kernels. Handled incorrectly, you should look into Ubuntu Touch. Yep. Just keep waiting, 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 waiting. Yeah, the stream wave, uh, I always schedule them, and it should tell you if you're on the stream exactly when it starts. We do know, we, we have learned that the, the subscriber and notification bells don't work as people anticipate them working. Uh, we noticed that. Uh, yes, we are almost at 10,000 subs. Yep, that will be the milestone by which I mail these out, which is probably going to happen the next day or two. I'm still growing about 50 subs a day, and I'm at 9,907 right now, I think. Uh, let's see, what am I at? 9,907 right now, yep. So I'm guessing by this weekend, I won't be doing the, the, the giveaway on, on Saturday, though. Um, I know that. So it's probably going to be next Wednesday is, is when I'm going to do the drawing. Um, yeah, Brave, I think is open source. Uh, like I found, I found the GitHub pages. Um, and you guys that are, uh, more versed in programming than I am can tell me if that's everything we need. And Libre Secure made it just in time. Greetings. Uh, never want to bookmark sync, man, uh, manage it through Nextcloud. Ooh, yeah, that's a fun, fun thing. I should look into managing that through Nextcloud. I'll have to look into that. Greetings, Highland. How's it going there? Hope the stream today is a happy themed one. I think I have overdosed on videos about the world going down the pan. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about the state of web browsers in the world today. But, but uh, I won't talk too much about bad, horrible, ugly stuff. Um, I, I would. I am going to. I'll go ahead and plug it now, though. Um, after this, nine o'clock tonight. So in two hours from now. I will be streaming on the Christian channel, and we're going to be talking about how Christian and Republican became kind of co-entwined and how that's actually wrong. We're going to spend some time on that tonight. So check out the Christian stream for that, and I'll plug that again when before we jump off here. Um, and that's at Our Walk in Christ. Uh, Highland is building a JavaScript OS, hoping to put an electron container and make it real. Oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Um, he lives. It's alive. It's alive. Right, kitty? It's alive. <laughs> yeah, he was just laying there for a long time, just not really moving much. Uh, most browsers, let's see. Greetings all. Is this live or Memorex? <laughs> Isn't Brave Browser just another version of Google Chrome? Well, it's built on Google Chrome. There's Well, it's built on Chromium. So there's really only a couple of toolkits used to make browsers. Brave is based on Chromium. Um, uh, unless you're talking about putting it on a uh, mobile device, in which case it has to use the core that's built in. This is why Firefox, even on, on an iOS device, sucks, because they have to build Firefox on top of uh, Safari. <laughs> just kind of goofy. Uh, but anyway... Holy monkeys, just about a month ago I thought I was 6K. Yes, just about a month ago I was at 6K. Correct. Okay, I would enter, but uh, my mom might get paranoid. Hopefully she says yes. Please, if you are under the age of 18, please double check with your parents. That's okay. And if you want me to send it to some, you know, relative or something, that's cool too. I don't mind. As long as there is an address I can send it to and you, and you have talked to your parents about it, that is cool. Then... Yes. Uh, when am I doing a deep in review? Um, I did. I mean, I've done a couple little ones, but yeah, I'm, I am ready. I, I should do another one soon. Uh, Lefty says, uh, or Lef Leffel says, Brave Browser really sucks extension wise. Yep. A browser you must try is Basilisk. Yes, I do need to look at Basilisk. Joe Johnson didn't receive a notification. Of course not. Did you catch the fact that notifications aren't doing what in the world? Yeah, they're supposed to be doing. Uh, Mark Yates, shipping a mouse pad is now $25. If I try and ship it internationally, most likely. Yes, it's quite uh, quite crazy. Toss, uh, Toss just went live. Yeah, I know. He just went live, but, you know. Is it Brave? Just another ver Let's see. Um, 
Firefox denies, Mozilla denies having anything to do with George Soros, so I'm going to believe them for now unless somebody has some very solid evidence to the contrary. Um, hello, pray for everyone. Greetings. Pray browser doesn't want have the extensions. Okay. Try DuckDuckGo browser. <laughs> do they have a browser? I don't know. Uh, saw cattail, suddenly day got less horrid. That's right. Don't have a horrid day. I'm too cute for horrid days. <laughs> uh, since you're looking at web browsers, do you want me to push my changes to short domain, see how jQuery works with Brave? Oh, I, I mean, I could. How did I grow my channel so fast? Um, being real, I think. I mean, some people really don't like it, but I'm real. I'm not going to blow fluff and today I'm talking about Brave Browser I'm not gonna blow fluff I'm gonna tell you what I think based upon the evidence that I have and I'm open to having my opinion changed but at the same time you know what um as of right now I have read their documents I have read other things about it and I think that Brave is just floating on the same hype that we see on a lot of things like elementary OS it just floats on hype I, I, I think that's that's my, my going to be my final assessment, but we'll talk about that. Um, so much for the First Amendment. Starting May 1st, Microsoft is starting to shut down users that use or have offensive language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have done some deep in OS stuff a while back. I haven't done uh, more recent releases yet. But Waterfox, it got updated recently. Yes, I use Waterfox um, a lot. Anna Rita, hello there. Uh, Tom, wear a green shirt someday with a green screen. I should. I should indeed. I should indeed. Um, using Vivaldi at the moment, I like it because it comes with some nice integrated tools. DuckDuckGo smartphone browser. Oh, cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump on over and talk a little bit about uh, Brave. All right, so of course, Brave Browser, if you've been living under a rock, Brave Browser comes up as being this uh, this privacy centric browser. So here is their website, which is brave.com. Let me actually just go back to their homepage first. So brave.com, of course their logo is a lion. Are you brave enough to use brave or do you have courage enough to remove your headphone jack? Uh, but anyway, uh, the cat just looked at me really concerned. He's like, don't remove the headphone jack. That thing's useful. Uh, but a browser with your interests at heart, that is what they say. Um, bra uh, browse faster by blocking ads and trackers that violate your privacy and cost you time and money. Um, news, Brave adds support for Twitch creators and, uh, and another million dollars. Uh, we'll get into what's going on there. So it says it's faster, two to eight times faster than Chrome and Safari on mobile, and Brave is two times faster on Chrome than the desktop. Um, and so here's some, some posts. Of course, a lot of this, Huffington Post, CNN, Fox News, all these guys. A lot of this is just because these things load so much JavaScript and so many ads. Anything that blocks them. I can have the same exact result running a... Uh, um, a browser plugin to block this. Now, what I'm curious to know, and I didn't test it, I forgot to test that, how well does it work if you are, uh, for example, um, going to a website that detects your web blockers? Guessing it works much the same as my host file does. So saves you money as much as $23 a month. Of course, this is based on not having versus having an unlimited data plan. So I think that this graphic is a little on the goofy side. I really honestly think that. Um, they're doing a lot. So of course, they're following these marketing trends. Uh, actually, this is the only block that doesn't actually have uh, a download link. They have download links on everything. So blocking all of the ads and trackers and block ups. So here's your download link. Save hours each year. You can see the value they're trying. Th this is done by a very, very concise marketing approach. Automatically, it makes me a little suspicious. Um, so avoid infection. Uh, it is going to do what it says. It is fast because it is blocking things. It will have uh, some degree of privacy because it is blocking some things. That is absolutely true. Um, I think that, uh, that, that is certainly one of the, one of the things that, uh, that, uh, it is true about it. So downloading is pain free. They're trying to do that and I've protect your privacy. So of course, no, note though, that everything they're doing is 
blocking other people's access to you, which is a good thing. That's exactly what my host file does. That's the type of thing that, that I think that you should do. Um, but we're going to get into some of the, some of the interesting stuff here. Um, next, of course, um, here is all about ad blocking, um, what they do. So basically they're using some scripts to block out all of the ads. Probably my guess is using a different approach than a browser extension does because the browser extensions, uh, demonstrate, you know, we've seen instances where those can be co-opted. So this is a good, um, low tech solution for doing a lot of blocking. Uh, and there are block lists on this. Hold on. The way my USBs are, are mounted on the computer, my and the fact that this is a very crappy mouse that I have on my system, I sometimes have to move the mouse closer to actually get it to work right. Um, so you can see there's some blocking lists. Um, you should, in theory, have the ability to set some things to unblock if you want to. Um, and then of course, report reporting an ad that still displays with it so you can actually block those, which is a good thing to help it. That's something the host file redirects does not allow you to do is, is I mean, if, of course, if something shows up, I can actually add it to my list. So that's one of the things. And then of course, as I said, there's, there's a lot of hype about, um, about how the system works. And, um, this is one such article, you know, the tin hat. I should read this more. I mean, the tin hat. I mean, I think I need to be wearing a hat when I read this. I don't know. Be brave, man. Four reasons to ditch your browser and you've brave. And yes, one of them is Bitcoin. Um, so, of course, it's all about the ads in a good way. Instead of just loading any ad that an ad network gives you, as do other browsers, blo Brave blocks all ads by default. This only protects against malware. Uh, that's not only protects against malware, but also prevents extensive tracking and advertising networks, which is true. Okay, because of Bitcoin, uh, Brave is replacing ads on publishers with its own. How does a publisher get paid? Mm, that's one of the things we're going to dive into in a little bit more detail. All right. Um, so Brave will send a significant portion of its money from advertisers to its ad publisher in the form of Bitcoin. To fund the development, it will keep 15% and 15% will be sent to its ad partners. This is one of the things I'm concerned about is I cannot find good, clear communication as to how money is divided. Okay. Cares about your privacy. And I'm going to de sort of potentially debunk this later with a little bit of anecdotal, ev talk, anecdotal evidence later. And then it's faster. And yes, it would be because it's not downloading a bunch of stuff. So, um, before we actually dive into that, what we're going to do is I'm going to have a look at some more comments and I'm going to load up a virtual box where I have Brave browser installed on because I want to show you guys a couple of things. All right, so some comments. Uh, try Voyager. Uh, Voyager is on my list. I put it on the list when you recommend it the other day. I'll have a look at it soon. Integrity is the new online currency with value. Yes. And that is a question I have. Uh, okay. I like Waterfox. Now it's updated. Fix the problems I was having with te tearing full screen. Uh, Chrome is the best when it comes to privacy, at least from my user expense. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's That's a... It's a really good one I hear. I, I hear that that uh, Chrome is is like the most privacy centric browser in the history of the world. That's not what I want. There you are. Um, let's see, switch to Linux Mint today. Very good, awesome. I hope you are enjoying it. DuckDuckGo browser doesn't bring a search widget like Google. Okay. Most people channels don't grow without clickbait type tactics, seems like. Click here, click here for stuff. No. <laughs> Vivaldi's also based on Chrome, yep. 
USB-C headphones or 3.5 headphone jack or Bluetooth headphones? Um, I prefer the old traditional headphone jack. That's my preference. Saves me hours. Okay, yep, yep. It's all about the marketing, though. See how brilliantly it is marketed. That's kind of one of the things that makes me say, hmm, what's going on here? Doubt if it matters what browser you use when you connect to any device. Privacy, forget about it. See, I disagree, Ben. I disagree. Uh, me and Toss disagree about that. Maybe we'll have a, a discussion about about why uh, on, a, on another joint stream. But I disagree. There are things you can do to protect yourself even on the Internet. It's not all just throw it all out, you know. Um, see, pushing changes right now. Give me YouTube admin so I can upload a link. Highland, you are now a moderator. Okay, Brave might be my new browser after this stream. I don't know. You, you might be thinking twice. You might be thinking twice. Um, pages open fast and smooth for me in Vivaldi. Not enough to leave Chrome. Okay. Still prefer Chromium. How often do you update your host file? Um, uh, when I know there's something out there I need to update, I do. Have I tried CryptoTap? No, I have not. Just use Start Page and DuckDuckGo, and Google is Start Page does not find it. Yep. What's the verdict so far? Braver Firefox. <laughs> we'll answer that at the end. Uh, remind me again if I don't get to it. Hello, Keegan. How's it going there? Okay, use Firefox, have to have it set another third party cookies. I'll bet the about config disable all telemetry. You block origin. Yep, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and jump on over to my distro. Um, there we are. All right, so we're in Linux Mint, and the reason I'm on Linux Mint is it turns out that after a couple of days, Zorin sucks. <laughs> the thing just would stop booting up right. There were, I was having issues with Software Center. I was just going to go ahead and do this on Zorin because I had Zorin, but Zorin stopped working for me, so I downloaded Mint because I had a copy of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to boot up Brave. Um, now, you uh, for this version of Linux Mint, you had to uh, install the rep uh, repositories. There are instructions about how to do that on Brave's website. Now, I, I actually put it on my Ubuntu computer over be behind me as well, and uh, it was actually not working. Apparently, it's not working over here either. Well, I wanted to show you guys Brave, but apparently it's not working. Will you work? Hey, there it goes. All right. Okay, so one of the challenges I was having is the thing kept freezing on Ubuntu. I'm not sure why. Seems to be okay over here. So this is what we get when we start in. And what I wanted to show you guys over here is the uh, on the settings, I want to show you how people are getting paid with it. Because I'm a little leery of this, all right? So... Here we are, we went to preferences with our uh, hamburger menu, and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna look at payments. So what you need to do is you need to set up payments. Uh, let's just go ahead and type in mint uh, for both of those. So it's created a, a really simple way for you to contribute to sites you use the most. Now here's the advantage, is if you are a, an end user and you would like to help support somebody, like if you wanna help support Switch to Linux, and I set everything up to use the Brave system, then you could go in here, all you need to do is come in here and turn this on, and then what happens is it creates a little bat wallet for you, uh, which is one of these types of cryptocurrencies, and then I can come in here and I can go ahead and add funds. And I can add funds through any of these crypto coins. So I can add funds into the system, and then what happens is once this is all set up, then I can come in here. I got to remember exactly how. I might have to get all that set up to use that. Um, but what happens is I will choose certain websites I would like to support. These are extensions. Okay, so these are on or off. Okay. Um, and then what happens is you choose certain websites that you'd like to support with your payments. And then what happens is as you are visiting those sites, your balance, your back balance is going to be transferred into that user's account. 
The problem is there is zero transparency. If I come in here and I say, I'm going to add $10 in Bitcoin, how much money goes into my wallet to be transferred over? Because I assume there's some middlemen in here. They're not telling me anywhere. How much does Brave take off the top? How much does uh, Uphold take off the top, who they're using to, um, to move these? And then what ends up happening is now um, the money's transferred into here. And now just by going onto the website, you're going to slowly transfer these funds. Is it not easier to just say, you know what? I just like to support them on Patreon jump on over to the Patreon page and support them directly on Patreon, which Patreon takes a chunk of that as well, but it's certainly a lot clearer method than what they're doing here. But it does give an individual user the ability to support other sites that may or may not have something like Patreon or something else going on. But then something always catches my eye, and you guys know me that I'm a reader. I mean, I read textbooks for fun, boring legally. So there's a little thing called the terms of service. So as a website user, suppose I wanted to attach all of my properties to Brave and say, we are going to now start accepting this Brave bat currency. What does that take? Well, here is for my publishers, uh, which is the, the, pre, the people with the website. So you can support the YouTube channel. You can support my website. You can support all these. Let me tell you the quick footnotes. This terms of service is three times as long as Google's AdSense and is deeply more disturbing. Particularly of interest to me is the binding arbitration agreements. Okay, by accessing these services, you agree to these terms. If you do not agree to these terms, including the mandatory arbitration provisions and class action waiver on section 13, do not access our servers. Okay, so here is their binding arbitration clause which by the way, AdSense does not have. I pulled up my AdSense terms and conditions that I use. It does not contain a binding arbitration nor a class action lawsuit. So if there's any dispute, you are agreeing that you are going to use binding arbitration, no class action lawsuits, no representative actions under the Federal Attributions Act under this jurisdiction of San Francisco County, California. What does this tell me right away? This is just a Silicon Valley startup. This is no different than any other Silicon Valley startup. This is a group that if they go crazy and all of a sudden are find out down the road that they have been collecting data, you can't take them to, to court to binding arbitration. You, you only have binding arbitration. You can't do court. You can't do class action. You can't do anything else. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and, and have a look at, at some of the rest of this. So there's overview and scope uh, basically about, about that. Of course, if this thing will actually, it's, it's actually a horrible browser from a usage standpoint, despite not having any, any, um, uh, despite not having any ads and stuff, it's, certainly is sluggish. Um, so here's a publisher account wallet, uh, contributions. Um, and I'd figure here is kind of where the contributions are. See, I can't, it, I, it's not responding well. Okay. Brave browser will con uh, calculate contributions relative to a paid usage publishers, URLs accessed under the Braves community, um, whatever. Okay. There's all this. Um, Oh Lord, this thing is so bad. And I can't tell if it's the browser or the website. Okay, there's your rules of your binding arbitration. I'm trying to figure out where the um I need to get into where the system where you get get to uh put it in there. Um 
It's the information we collect when you interact. We may collect personal data or other information based on you. Personal data you provide to the services. We collect personal data from you when you voluntarily provide such information, such as when you contact us in queries, respond to a survey, register for access to services, or use certain services where the company collects personal data. We make an effort to provide a link to the privacy policy by voluntarily providing us with personal data. You are consenting to our use of it in accordance with the privacy policy. If you provide personal data to the services, you acknowledge and agree to such personal data may be transferred from your current location to servers managed uh, by or on behalf of BSI. There's the cookies. Um, they use cookies, of course. Uh, a lot of this is stuff that pretty much any site needs to have on there anyway. Uh, our use of your personal data and other information. We will use the personal data you provide in a manner consistent with this privacy policy. If you provide personal data for a certain reason, we may use the personal data in connection with the reason for which it was provided. For instance, if you contact us by email, we use personal data. Obviously, duh, if I give them my email, they have to know how to email me back. So that's kind of what that means. It's the legalese for that. Um, let's just see if they're doing anything else nefarious. Uh, we may use this information to contact you in the future to tell you about services we believe may interest you. Well, that's certainly interesting. Not what I would anticipate. That means that they are storing your data for future use. In addition, if any time you do not want to receive any future marketing communications or which have your name deleted for mailing list, please indicate us as indicated below. Okay, so you can get rid of it. That's good. Our disclosure of your personal information. We are not in the business of selling your information. We consider the information to be a vital part of our relationship with you. There are, however, certain, certain, certain circumstances. We may share your personal data with certain third parties without further notice set beside the loop. Hosting application servers. Um, as noted above, BSI, like many other businesses, make use of custom, uh, companies' hosting services in the course of providing services. Um, so wallets, token services, mailing list management, cloud storage, payment processing, and we employ other entity to perform in the function of this nature. We only provide them with information they need uh, for, to perform that function. Uh, legal requirements, obviously, the company may disclose your personal data if it's required to do so by law, which is kind of hard to do if you don't store it, but apparently they are storing some of it. Your choices, you can visit the site without providing any personal data. If you do not provide any personal data, you may not be able to use certain services. Exclusions, privacy policy does not apply to personal data collected by the company, by company other than personal data collected through the service. This privacy policy shall not apply to any unsolicited information you provide through the services or through any other means. This includes but is not limited to information posted in public areas of the services, such as forums, any ideas for new products or modifiers to existing products or other unsolicited submissions. All unsolicited information shall be deemed to be non-confidential non and companies shall be free to reproduce, use, disclose, and distribute such unsolicited information to others without limitation or uh, attribution. It does not knowingly collect. That's the COPA requirement. Um, links to the website. Uh, privacy policy applies to the services. Okay, for links and services that do not imply company endorses have reviewed the third party sites. So it's just third party sites. Um, of course, changes to the privacy policy at any time they may make changes to this. Um, please review it periodically. So it's your call. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of that. So it does have a privacy policy. Um, that is not unlike most other companies. In fact, of other companies I would consider to be privacy centric, this is the worst privacy policy I've ever seen from a privacy centric company. Um, there's contributors, bat token sale information. So the biggest, deepest thing is that they do actually seem to have data. They do seem to share some of that data. They do seem to store some of that data and they have binding arbitration. That's one of those core things for me as a website owner that is a big concern that if I want to get in on this and start accepting money from Brave, I have to agree to their ludicrous terms and conditions, which is not particularly all that good. And that's kind of a concern of mine. And so this group here, this company here, seems to me to be no different than any other Silicon Valley startup. And it makes sense. It's put together by people from the Silicon Valley.
I don't see anything in here that says this is overwhelmingly privacy centric other than them saying this was privacy centric and all sorts of fluffy news blogs going, it's a privacy centric browser. Sure, it blocks stuff and it does. It's going to prevent some third parties from accessing some of that data and information. I agree. But it doesn't appear to me to be any different than any other thing that we have seen. All right, so let's go ahead and shut this virtual box down before we jump on to our next portion of this. All right, so let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. All right. Um, how do I feel about this system D controversy? I never really cared to look much into it. Is Opera safe? I don't prefer Opera because it is now owned by a Chinese company. It is closed source, and I know they do some funky things. For example, uh, if you have Opera on your system, go ahead, load up Opera, and then just go to Amazon.com. Just go right to Amazon.com. You will see that the URL changes because they inject their Amazon affiliate code into every page on Amazon.com. So if you go to my links, click on my affiliate links for Amazon, and then start shopping, you very well may be supporting the Chinese company behind Opera rather than supporting me when you think you're supporting me. That's kind of the type of stuff that they do. So I'm not a big fan of Opera. 100,000 need more input from the cat. Yes, Kitty, you need to help me get to 100, all right? Kitty's looking at me like, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. Uh... Really want to like GNOME, but KDE is so much better. Yep. Brave browser is sneaky, just like Apple. That's the thing, you know? I've not, not touched other OSs, but Ubuntu Mate and Ubuntu Unity uh, 1604. Or by the number guesser program I made a long time ago, I took the code from that and embedded it quite nicer into. Okay. Oh, Kitty's coming back up, apparently. Kitty's like, yep, I'm coming back up. Like it or not, here I come. <laughs> all right, all right. Greetings, Daniel. How's it going there? Yes, I did see Cubes 4.0 is out now. I I might even have to go ahead and install it. The the This computer's bootloader is kind of annoying. I can either rebuild my old Cubes, or I can just go ahead and reinstall it. I don't know. I might just reinstall it. Why would I ever use a middleman in the transfer of funds for someone? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Can't buy food with Bitcoin. Well, some places you can. But Bitcoin was a proof of concept for blockchain technology. Yep. Does the VPN slow down the internet speed? It depends on the VPN. I've uh, like I've tested pure VPN, seems to be pretty good. Um, I didn't notice any real uh, drop. Okay, slowly taking your advice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Bitcoin shares more in common with the property than it does with its currency. My wife goes, Bitcoin. Ah, can I buy shoes with it online? Well, you used to be able to, and then the the pricing just kind of started to get all, all crazy. Um. Brave browsers could be sucker browser. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm, what I'm starting to think. I don't know. I think Waterfox is a YouTube live stream chat bug that Firefox has. Probably because they're kind of based on, you know, it's it's basically Waterfox is Firefox with a few modifications. Bad news. Truly, really, people are behind it. If you explain why it happened. Well, from what I understand from, uh, like, pizza, I don't think pizza's on right now, but from what I understand from pizza, um, the biggest challenge is, uh, when you're actually running the processes, you're actually trying to basically, uh, doing hacking. <laughs> that's what, that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's interesting. Okay. Using an algorithm with your data, which can send in subject be received to hacking in another party. And buy a pint of milk with Bitcoin. Depends on where you are. 
Uh, I do use Brave for Android. Got a new phone. Okay. You can buy a uh, killer with Bitcoins. Yeah, you can buy a killer with Bitcoins. <laughs> The Brave browser does sell your data and send you junk email and send you their own ads by blocking everyone else's. Yep, that's about it. Getting very bored of this tactic. People and companies do this all the time, tell you what they want, think of them, and not what they actually do. All right, so oh, let me move over here. Whoa, I gotta go to, where am I at, where am I at? There we go. All right, so what caused me to look deeper into Brave Browser? Well, a friend of mine was over the other day and he's like, uh, you know, let's, we need to clear some stuff off the phone, move some things around. And you know, he's, uh, you know, co-host, so he wasn't, isn't super duper tech savvy. You know, he's getting there, he's getting there. We're rubbing off on him, but, um, so we were moving some things around and he's like, you know, I need a, a better, you know, faster web browser. And so let's like, let's look at Brave. Let's see what Brave does. So we go into the Play Store and we look at Brave. Well, I, I need to do Brave Browser because that's going to give me Brave the movie. All right. So he said, let's look at Brave Browser. Now, of course, I look up Brave Browser. And after I move past all these crappy eBooks, I see Brave Browser, Firefox Focus. I see Armor Fly, the regular Firefox, Dolphin. Did Dolphin still around? That always sucked. Does Dolphin still suck? <laughs> all right. So we looked first at Brave Browser and said, well, let's go ahead and have a look at Brave Browser. Uh, in footnotes, we end up putting Firefox Focus on his <laughs> phone. So here's Brave Browser. Of course, Brave Browser, fast ad blocker. Um, so here's, it's a fast, free, secure web browser for Android with a built-in ad blocker, tracking and security protection, optimized data and battery experience. Okay. Um, so here's fast and secure, data optimized, two to four times increase of speed. Um, I'm not sure how exactly they're making that, but you can see they're just doing all their marketing in terms of just value proposition, which is a big marketing ploy. Privacy protection also protects users with leading privacy and security features such as HTTPS everywhere, encrypted data traffic, a script blocking, third-party cookie blocking, and private incognito tabs, all of which you can get on other websites. So Brave has the following features, built-in ad blocker, built-in pop-ups, battery optimization. I don't know. Okay. Uh, data optimization, tracking protection, HTTPS everywhere, script blocking, bookmarks, history, third-party cookie blocking, privacy tabs, recent. How to get started? Just click on the icon. All right, about Brave. Mission to save the web by increasing browser speeds and safety for users while growing ad revenue for share for uh, share for content creators. Yeah, that we have to agree to your ludicrous binding arbitration and other Silicon Valley corporate BS. Yep. So note, Brave Browser for Androids tabs based on a different uh, from Brave Browser, link bubble which loads pages in the background. Um, all right. Um, so there's some reviews of it. So of course you always, 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 when you're downloading an application, you want to come down here and you want to have a look at the permissions. Here's what Brave Browser requires for permissions. Read your bookmarks and history. Location, approximate location and precise GPS-based network location. Read contents of your USB. Store contents of USB. Cameras, take pictures and videos. Microphone to record audio. View Wi-Fi connections. Download files without notification. Receive data from the internet. View network connections. Pair Bluetooth devices. Access Bluetooth settings. Full network access, change your audio settings, control near field communication, run at startup, reorder running apps, control vibration, prevent device from sleeping, write web, uh, web bookmarks in history, and install shortcuts. Some of those, obviously, duh, it's a web browser, okay? But some of those are a little suspicious to me. Um, why do you need precise GPS location for a privacy-focused browser? That's curious to me. Why do you want location at all? Photos, media, files. Maybe attaching a picture to an online web form. I don't, I mean, maybe saving a picture. Okay. Camera. 
Very few applications for this. Microphone, record audio. Why? Obviously, Wi-Fi connections, download files without notification. Hmm. Um, pairing with Bluetooth devices? Reading the state of Bluetooth settings? Huh? Control near field communication. Hmm. Let's have a look at Firefox Focus. So you guys know by now how I feel about Mozilla. Not my favorite. Permissions, photo storage, network connections, full network access, run at startup, prevent device from sleeping, install shortcuts. Firefox Focus is the better browser if you're on Android. That's what got me looking into this. Funny, if the Android app for Brave Browser is this invasive on our privacy, how is the actual web browser that everyone's saying is this privacy-centric thing. This is a crappy Silicon Valley startup that does seeks to do nothing except everything else Silicon Valley is st starting to do. Push people into a system. They want to become big enough, so you have to cut buy them into their ad network in order to get into the system and then to get any money out of the system as a website owner i have to agree to a privacy policy and a terms and conditions that includes binding arbitration class action lawsuits and all sorts of other stuff on top of that i have no idea what is the percentages happen to be from the money you make versus the money they make i'd avoid browse brave browser I don't think that this is anything of any form of integrity. I don't think that based upon the information, not listening to their marketing. I'm not listening to their marketing. I'm not listening to their fluff pieces. I sat here for the day, read their privacy policies, read their terms and conditions, looked at the actual things that they're required by law to give us. That's my take. What do you guys think? Whoever's hating on Bitcoin has low IQ and doesn't understand the code. If you're hating Brave, you didn't get your settings correct. Excuse me, Bergenhammers, wake up, smell the coffee, read the terms and conditions. It's faster than Firefox for me. Yes. Yes, it is. You must have just joined on. You must have missed the first half of the program. <laughs> Considering everyone else tracks whether you want it or not, doesn't have to pay you a dime. It's a little bit of a step in the right direction. I disagree. I disagree. Put a hosts file on your system. Get a device that you can put a host file on your system. Block all that on a system level, and you will do infinitely better than any web browser. That's my thought. Greetings, BitLocks. I probably missed a lot of comments up here, too. Let's see. Uh, maybe I didn't. See, guys, I'm not going to roll over and play dead. Oh, everyone's collecting data. Let's just roll over and play dead and just give it all to them. Y'all are all collecting my data anyway, so I'm just going to leave all my windows open and walk around the house in the nudes. <laughs> no. 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 Take active steps, people. Take active steps. Read. Take active steps and vote with your wallet and your choices. Stop listening to the marketing BS. Stop listening to the press releases. Stop listening to the bloggers who have not done anything more except taken their thoughts to say, 
we have a new privacy-centric browser. See, it blocks stuff. And then everyone's running with it going, ah, oh, it's so awesome. It blocks all this stuff. We're creating a new ad network. We're going to pay everybody. If you agree to our terms and conditions. And by the way, I didn't find the thing. Um, I was looking for it. I couldn't find it right away. But um, as a website owner, to verify you on the website, you have to give them access to some of your DNS and your Whois contact information. Not a real big deal, but um, little extra things. See, here's the thing though. Okay, you don't need to use location in Brave. It's a privacy-centric browser. Turn it off. Apparently Firefox Focus did that. They're not using your location at all. Interesting. Built on Chrome, Chromium base, yep. All right. Uh, use Firefox. Focus on my stream at Media Center. LEL, dude. And Brave, you can choose to be tracked or not. Brave is way more protective than Firefox. Not based upon... Okay, let me show you the stuff again in case you missed it. Okay? Here's Brave's Android requirements. Here's Firefox focuses. I'll go with Firefox Focus, thank you. <laughs> if you're going to say you're a privacy-centric browser, the best way I know that's true is if you're not collecting the data in the first place. Might as well use that, Jim. Yeah. Firefox Focus doesn't allow you to screenshot, does it? Um, every device allows you to screenshot. <laughs> I think on this one, you just hold the power button for like two seconds. I forget. I have to look it up again. But, I mean, I, I, we don't need our mobile browser to have a screenshot function. We can take a screenshot with our whole phone, honestly. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Triggered. Yeah, Robert's triggered. I think I'll be continue using Waterfox, yeah. Firefox on a smartphone is slow for me. Yes, this is Firefox Focus, okay? Firefox Focus is different. If you pull up the, the full Firefox, full Firefox privacy system looks pretty much the same as, uh, pretty much the same as um, uh, Brave, right? Okay, so this is Firefox. Firefox is just Firefox. Firefox Focus is just like Brave. It blocks all the tracking scripts. It blocks all of the advertisements. It does all sorts of other background things. The exact stuff that Brave does, Firefox Focus does. This is an Android app. It might also be an iOS app. I can't remember if it's on iOS or not. But it's an Android app that is basically the Firefox version of Brave. If you're looking for one like that, I would probably do Firefox Focus rather than Brave. And I'm not a big fan of Mozilla. Putting a host file is the best thing. Yep, that's the best thing, Putting doing the host file. Yep. It's in my office, losing my religion. <laughs> this is our official version of Waterfox for Android. Um, you have to sideload it, um, but if you just go right to Waterfox home, uh, I gotta spell Waterfox right, haha, <laughs> yep. You gotta go right to Waterfox homepage, and on Waterfox homepage, under your Android browser, you can get it on Google. Oh, you can get it on Google Play, okay. I wasn't sure, or you can just download it over here. Um, so here is, uh, that's, I think that's the source code. Is that the source code? I don't know. Anyway. Um, so 
Yeah, I, I don't know what that one is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, you can get the, you can get it on Google Play. You can download the copy of it. I think you can download um, you can download the um, the Android app for it as well. That's kind of what I do is I just download the uh, the APK file and sideload it. I think that's what I did anyway. I don't know. Maybe I downloaded the source code and compiled it. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, you can, there, you can get the official version of Waterfox for that. Uh, I don't get why I should install an extra browser for privacy. I use no script and block every third party script by default. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's the thing that, that, uh, that you should do in either case. I get why I should install an extra browser for pri Okay, I read that. I feel the same. Read all the, all the info first. TOS, EULA, privacy. It is important. It is. You don't care about privacy. It's those people who naked, naked with their blinds open and then complain the neighbor's recording. Yeah. Something made me think someone referred to data collection as identity collection. Not sure it was intended, but that really stuck in my mind. That's true, though. I, yeah, I've never heard of that either, but that's true. It is identity collection. It really is. What's wrong with Brave? I just spent the last 30 minutes, uh, 45 minutes, talking about what's wrong with Brave. <laughs> I apologize. You'll have to go back and watch it. Um, I've actually been recording this. I'm going to re-release this um, late tonight. Um, I have another stream to do on my Christian channel after this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and re-release this without the comments and stuff in between, uh, more concise. So if you do want to watch the full video again without the, the interlude comments, uh, that will be available. Um, but yeah, in short, it seems to be no different than anyone else, except they're trying to get in on the marketing cap and get web uh, like website owners to sign on to their crazy terms and conditions to actually get paid money. And they're only paying out money by Bitcoins. Um, and it's just kind of crazy. Made ads on Brave Browser, it's all a lie, really suspicious. If you download the app, you get the chance of going with it. Um, if you download the app, you get the chance of going with hi. Huh. You can adjust app permissions. See, that is, okay, here's how app permissions work. When you're compiling and writing an Android app, there's a series of libraries, and the libraries will determine what the thing is doing. It is way infinitely better to not have the libraries in the app like Firefox Focus does than rely on a software-based toggle switch to turn it off. That's the problem. It's better that my contact application does not ask for my location than for me to have to turn, uh, turn off location services to contacts. That's the difference is that the app is built with a variety of libraries. It is best if they want to announce themselves as a privacy centric browser, do not include the telemetry scripts in general or the libraries. Do not include the telemetry libraries at all. That's what Firefox Focus did. It didn't include them at all. And so it made a fast browser that blocked all the ad stuff without all of the potential of everything else. If you want privacy centric, let's get serious. Hmm. <laughs> Install it and run it with some of the requirements disabled. Probably, but again, yeah, I think I just addressed that. Use Chrome for watching YouTube and Crunchyroll while using Waterfox for most other stuff. I do have Opera, Vivaldi, and Chrome, but rarely used. Power button and minus. Thank you. Yeah, it depends on the it depends on the model. Um, Red Firefox Focus Block you to send a screenshot through hmm, okay that's interesting Lamar brave is not open source um, I posted that link at the beginning um, I assume you have some coding knowledge can you elaborate on that at all what is better Firefox focus or water Fox um, 
That depends on your instance. I'm using Waterfox because I can get it without the Play Store. The last time I checked, you could not get Firefox Focus without going through the Play Store. Since I don't use Google services on my phone, um, I could not put Firefox Focus on. Um, I could put, uh, I could compile Firefox. Um, I could probably put the Firefox Nightly build on because the source codes are available. Um, I don't know if the source codes are available for uh, Firefox Focus. And for me, I wanted to use Waterfox anyway, because I'm not a huge fan of Mozilla either. But if it comes down to Brave, so this answers that question from the very beginning. Brave or Firefox? Firefox all the way. Firefox all the way. Because it works, it renders, it's, it's, a, it's a better, all of everything else aside, it's a better system and they do the same thing. It's just that Brave happens to have the ability to block ads internally. Which, if you're running many Linux distros, have the ability to put ads and like, for example, if you're running Peppermint, go into your start menu or your, your menu there and type in ad blocker and that will constantly update some of the best ad blocking host file stuff you'd ever find. So that's kind of that. Yeah, I do need to look at at uh, Firefox folk or uh, uh, excuse me at Basilisk. I do need to do that. Use Firefox Clar for F Droid. The default and use uh, usage data disabled. Uh, no, Firefox Focus was specifically designed as an app for a smartphone. I don't understand what bad is. Yes, I do understand what bad is. I don't think you watched the whole show. I think you came up partway through and you're sitting there speaking in ignorance. To be perfectly honest. I mean, not to be mean, but that's what it seems like to me. Yes, I do know what bat is. Yes, I know how this works. No, I didn't read the source code because I haven't done programming in a long time. I'm not the person to read the source code, but I posted at the top of the comments so you can read about it. I don't care what's in the source code. I'm reading the terms and conditions and I'm reading what the Play Store requires them to do based upon the libraries that are in the app. Based upon the libraries that are in the app, it's not an app I'm going to install. I'm not hating on it for no reason. I'm hating on it because they've pushed marketing, they've marketed the factor for privacy and their terms and conditions, their privacy policy and their libraries and their application tell me that they're not. That means there's inconsistency. That means there's a liar somewhere. That's why I'm hating on it. That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. Hey man, I'm triggered. What can I say? Firefox Claw, all right. Yeah, I need to rebuild my fire screen. I really do need to rebuild my fire screen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, so once again, um, I will be streaming on um, on my other YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and get you the link for that. Um, in about one hour, I'm going to be streaming on my uh, on this channel, and I'm going to be talking about uh, Christianity and the Republican Party. How did they get all so intertwined? Because they shouldn't be in intertwined. Oh, oh, you you heard some screaming from the garage and ran back. All right. <laughs> Tom was on. Yeah, I need to get my fire screen set back up. I, I, I got all the source files. I just haven't put the screens up. <laughs> I should. I should. I should. All right. Well, guys, um, we're like I said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end. I'm actually recording this, like I said, so I'm going to dive into um, dive into some things. Also, if you came on late. Um, I do have five mouse pads I'm giving away um, and to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, which will be probably in a couple of days. Um, and all you need to do is send me a PM from YouTube, go to my channel about send message and I'll work on getting an active list up there. All I need is just your YouTube username and that you want entered into the mouse pad. When I do the drawing, then I will need a, an address and I can only ship to United States. So don't enter if you cannot provide me with a United States mailing address. All right. 
Um, so there is that. And let's go ahead and end out with these. So thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support. There are links to Amazon, PayPal, and Patreon there. Speaking of Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M for that. And if you would like to pick up a mouse pad, a t-shirt, a travel mug, anything like that, you can go to uh, switch to, uh, excuse me, shop.switchtolinux.com. That will redirect you to Spreadshirt. They do look better than this. The green screen interferes with the yellows on there, but uh, um, you can actually see what those look like by going over that site. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. All right, let's go ahead and uh, feed the kitty. Of course, you, if you're uh, used to the channel, you know we can't uh, go here without feeding kitty. Oh, kitty, kitty. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is? You know what time it is? It's time to feed the beast. Feed the beast within. Ah, feed the beast. <laughs> Whoa. Feed the beast. <laughs> Whoa, feed the beast. Let's do one for this camera over here. Oh, yeah. And let's do a... Oh, 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 this way, over here, this camera. Whoa, whoa, this camera right here. Oh, yeah. Come here. Are the finger looking good today? Yep, they're finger looking good, aren't they? Here, buddy, right there. I think there's a little... Is that a piece of one right there? Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, we will catch you guys later. Um, duh.